Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. There are many reasons for selecting cells. It is almost the first step in doing anything in Excel. By selecting multiple cells in Excel, you can delete data, apply formatting such as borders or shading, or apply other options to large area of worksheet. Excel will let you select one cell, range of cells, or any combination of single and multiple cells. Move the cursor to an adjacent cell by pressing the arrow key. You also can press the enter key to move down one cell or the tab key to move one cell to the right. Click the mouse pointer on any cell to move the cell cursor to that cell. Or type the cell address in the name box and press enter. Press Ctrl plus Home to jump to cell A1 and press Ctrl plus End to jump to the lower right cell of the worksheet. You may want to select multiple cells in worksheet. There are many methods to select multiple cells in a worksheet. To select sequential cells, click the first cell, hold down the shift key, and click the last cell you want. Optionally, click and drag the mouse over a group of cells to select a sequential area. Also, you can type the range required to be selected in the name box, such as from E. 12 to J16. If you want to select separate ranges, you can click and drag the first one, then hold down the control key and select the second range, and so on. You can add any number of ranges. But don't forget to hold down the key of control. To select a single entire column, click a column heading. That is the letter that indicates the column. To select multiple columns, drag across multiple column headings. To select a single entire row, click the row number. And to select multiple rows, drag across multiple rows numbers. Or you can use a keyboard shortcut to select a column, which is pressing Ctrl plus spacebar. Also, for selecting row, Using keyboard shortcut, you can click or hold shift and space bar. To cancel any selection, click anywhere on the worksheet or click any cell other than your selection. Now, let's talk about how to extend your selections. You may have a selection and you want to expand or shorten it. To expand this selection, press the shift key and the right arrow. It will be expanded horizontally to the right. And if you click the left key, it will be shortening to the left. And if you Hold down the shift key plus the button arrow, it will be expanded vertically. And if you want to shorten this range vertically, 
hold down the shift key and the up arrow it will be uh, shortened to extend the selection to the last non-blank cell in the same column or row as the active cell hold down control plus shift key and press the arrow key to extend the selection to the beginning of the row press shift plus home to extend the selection to the beginning of the worksheet press control shift and home if you want to extend your selection without holding the shift key just by your arrows press f8 f8 enable you to enter to the extend selection mode which allow you to extend the selection with your arrows another important shortcut is holding down shift key plus f8 that enable you to enter add to selection mode which make easy to you to select multiple separate ranges without holding down control key you can notice at the status bar the mode which is active if we press f8 we can notice the extended selection now is on again press f8 it's off when pressing shift plus f8 the add to selection mode now is active and pressing shift plus f8 again make this mode inactive thank you for watching edu video world videos see you at the next video